So now let's have a look at the external anatomy of the sea urchin. Okay, so just kind of overall, this guy's been in pickle juice for quite a while, so it doesn't really look like a normal sea urchin so much anymore. So the, the spines that would be prevalent are all but gone. We just have some here on the oral side. And the two feet that would be prevalent, okay, have mostly um, either retracted or decayed, degraded, but we do have some here again on the oral side with that kind of very kind of sucker-like um, surface distally. Um, since we're on the oral side anyway, and by the way, just, you know, the videos of live um, urchins are amazing, so that'll be, you know, you'll, you're covered there. So now while we're on the oral side, we can see the, the teeth, the four teeth of what you'll see for internal anatomy is Aristotle's lantern. It's a feeding structure. The, it's called the lip around that, which is the soft muscular tissue here with um, epidermis on top. And then the peristome, that's the area around the mouth, soft tissue right there. You can see it kind of compressing as I press on it. So then rotating the animal to the, the ab oral surface. Okay, I can get my hand out of the way so it doesn't shadow what we're trying to see. So here we have the anus and then the scaly area around it, the periproct. So peristome around the mouth, periproct around the anus, around the anus, the madreporite. And one, two, three, oops, I lost it. Let's do that again. Madreporite, one, two, three, four, five genital pores. And so there will be five gonads, okay, um, radiating uh, in the internal anatomy. And when those gonads are producing sex cells, sperm and eggs, they'll be released out of these genital pores. So that's it for the external anatomy of the sea urchin.